Our grantees are organizations and efforts that are building and shifting power in communities that have historically had power wielded against them. Black folks, indigenous peoples, immigrants and refugees of color, and working class folks more broadly. Uh, they're building and shifting political, economic, and cultural power for transformative systemic change. And many of our grantees frame that question of systemic change in terms of just transition. Uh, the idea that systems change all the time, but while transition is inevitable, justice is not. Um, and the way I like to put it, if you're getting thrown under the bus, you don't really care if it's solar powered or not. And so these are the, the folks that we support. But like I said, it's not just who we fund, it's how we fund. Um, I want to start by acknowledging that funders have a tremendous amount of power. We don't always wear it very well. In fact, I'd argue that, that we have a lot of challenges holding our power accountably. And, and, and the name that what is, I think, for some an uncomfortable truth that philanthropy itself is often one of the biggest obstacles to transformative work. It is possible, in fact, to fund the right things in the wrong way. That if we believe the social movement slogan that another world is possible, what does resource allocation look like in that world? What are the most transformative next steps that could credibly move us in that direction? We're learning with our grantees. Um, in some cases, they've directed our attention to infrastructure that's already been built from the bottom up. In other cases, it's been our line of inquiry that's galvanized a process to create something new. Um, and I think ultimately, as a private foundation, we see ourselves as a transitional form. If we seek to support transformational work, then we ourselves must be open to transformation. It's, it's that just transition lens, but applied to the philanthropic sector itself. And to do this, we must directly challenge the assumptions that undergird private philanthropy in the first place. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, if, if, you know, making democratic decisions about money, it's hard work. Uh, our current system don't allow us to exercise those muscles very often. And so as a private foundation that's effectively trying to put not just ourselves, but our entire sector out of business, right? Like that's the vision. It's not going to happen necessarily in my lifetime. But the vision is a world in which the resources are not extracted and consolidated in the first place. And I think that field catalysts can be an example of the butterfly to the caterpillar of the private foundation if we really support them to take on this kind of work in terms of determining how resources are allocated.